low rejection prospecting pro tips. This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Bachelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. So have you ever had that prospect that you want to uh, bring up the, your product or bring up your opportunity and you just don't know what to say so you decide not to say anything because you don't know how it's going to come across and you're a little bit hesitant and you'd like to find a simple way of bringing up the product or the business without sounding salesy and in a way that will be well received. So I've been in that situation in the past. It might have been somebody I had a lot of respect for or somebody I just felt like there was a little bit more of a risk than I wanted to take. And so over the years, I've uh, paid attention to anything that could help that way. And I found a few things. So I'm going to share just a couple, one or two things right now that, that should serve you and help you uh, correct that, that, that situation and help you recruit some people who uh, you may have been missing that could lead to other people then lead to other people who build you a large organization over time. Remember the beautiful thing about network marketing is you don't have to be a recruiting superstar. You don't have to be the person that brings in a lot of people every month to build this in a large fashion. You could be the person that over time recruits one here, one there, one here, one there, although that's not what's promoted and that's not what is going to get you the fastest success. What's good about that is it's something everyone can do. And the thing about this profession is you only have to recruit that person that leads to others and eventually hundreds and thousands of people one time and you reap a lifetime of benefit. And when you do that consistently over time, you'll find a second and a third and that will reap you superstar rewards for the rest of your life. It's not like you have to bring in an army personally. You just have to bring in a few who bring in a few who bring in a few. And it's not going to be that everyone you bring in is going to lead to business. It's just that if you do one here and one there, there's value. So that person you're not talking to could be the one that gives you that initial momentum or turns the corner for your business and helps you to get a full-time income if that's what you're seeking. So we need a a way to do that, and yet that we can feel really comfortable doing, right? So a few quick pro tips on that. Number one, uh, the idea of seed planting. Seed planting. I learned this years ago from from a very, very successful uh, Amway leader on the West Coast named Jack Dory. He used to go, and he would recruit people very slowly sometimes that he would see occasionally he would plant a seed he would plant a seed he would say hey you know one of these days i got something i'd like to talk to you about and they'd say what is it and he'd say well not for now not for now and he'd drop the subject and then a few months later he'd say something like that again you know i still want to talk to you but right now is not a good time i've got somewhere to be he always had somewhere else to be and it would it would he would build the anticipation so that they were curious and asking for a presentation rather than him selling them into giving one so that's just a thought if you have some people in your family you see occasionally some people you do business with occasionally some coworkers that you have conversation with occasionally it's a good technique it's called seed dropping seed dropping right so you plant a seed and you pull back you plant a seed and you pull back. Tom Schreider, Big Al, shared with me another low rejection tip. He said, if you're in a conversation with somebody, um, it could be family watching or friends watching the ball game, and you say you're watching the, the, the World Series going on right now, and we just had uh, the Astros beat the Dodgers in the second game, and, and they were kind of way behind, and they came back, and it was an amazing Uh, game to watch and so let's say you were watching that game with somebody 
and you turn around and you say during a quick break, you know, a commercial break or something, you could say, hey, you know what? I'll share it with you later, but I just found out how to get an extra paycheck without taking on a second job. If you'd ever like to know, I'd be glad to tell you. Meanwhile, man, this game is awesome, isn't it? And you just drop the subject. You just drop the subject and get away from it. Here's the beauty of that technique. When you're going down the highway and you're looking for something to eat, and you, for example, hate fish, and you see a sign that says uh, some such fish restaurant, seafood restaurant your your mind will just immediately tune it out but if you see you know uh pizza or burgers or steak and you love steak and you see a sign for that your mind is going to go to that immediately because it's relevant to you see fish was not your answer seafood was not your answer because that's not you at the moment so but burgers or steak was so you paid more attention to it so the beautiful thing about this is uh, 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 20 minutes later if they were not uh in that interest zone if that was not their hot button if they would say no to you after a long presentation they would have forgotten you even said it because they would pay very little attention. It was sort of like a sense that came out that wasn't relevant in their life and they forgot it because you weren't salesy. You brought up it up in a way. You planted a seed and you dropped it and immediately changed the subject. The beautiful thing is if somebody is looking for a way for extra income, they would hold on to that. That seed would grab and they will approach you. Hey, what is that thing you were talking about earlier? You know, say after the game or the next day or a few days later. Or you could bring it up again in a different way, you know, a few months down the road. But the beautiful thing about that is only those will int- uh, that are interested will comment. Those that are not will typically say, oh, okay, and forget the conversation or the statement was ever made. And therefore, you can bring up the subject and drop it without ever endangering or risking the relationship or the respect or feeling rejected. This is just one pro tip. Hopefully that helps. Just learn the value and think about how you can plant seeds and drop it and revisit it again in time. And you will pick up people that you have a difficult time presenting to or bringing up the subject without feeling rejection. That's today's pro tip. We will resume next week. Until that, until tomorrow, or until next week, this is day 31. Hope you join me in the journey. Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365daysofmlm at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.